Okay, Debbie. You got this. But, like, wait, are these their, are these their, wait, do locusts live in hives? I, I don't think locusts no, live in hives. I don't think they do. I think locusts are just, like, regular grasshoppers on bath salts or something. So, wait, they do, so they, you're pretty sure they don't make paper hives. I am, I, um, let's call it, like, 75% sure. So you're pretty sure this thing isn't isn't theirs? Well, I mean, regular locusts aren't also the size of ponies. Okay, what the fuck? How did those come out of there? Maybe, maybe it's a clown car. Well, I mean, okay. Even if it's a clown car, there, that, okay, that's gotta be the end of them. Can't fit any more in there. I mean, yeah, it's, that's that's what everyone who's seen a clown car says. Okay, I was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> what are these things? I don't know, but like the more we fight them, they, they're kind of looking looking kind of cute. Okay. You know, in a gross way. In a the pet head crab from Half Life Two way. They called him Lamar. <laughs> Heady Lamar. Yeah. It's Headley. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I actually never played Half Life Two. You know, actually, I I don't think I have either. Whoa! Okay, that's... That... that. Okay, there's no fucking way that was... Okay, wait, was that load-bearing? That thing was all that was keeping it up. Wow. I mean, maybe it was a clown car, you know? Like... Like, they're not really in there. It's just the exit. Check under this one after I destroy it. Now, you, if only we had that animal flamethrower. I really want that. It would be so cool. There was a Mel Brooks movie that almost, like, no one talks about called, uh, To Be or Not To Be. It was about, like, smuggling- it was, it was like a serious Mel Brooks movie, if that makes any sense. Uh-huh. Because, like, it was actually about, you know, smuggling refugees out of Nazi-occupied Poland. Uh-huh. But they did it using a clown car. Wasn't that the, I thought that was a Jerry Lewis movie. No, no, that was the one where he was the clown in in the in the concentration camp. They buried that one, didn't they? They did. I swear, I know a guy who knows a guy who's, who says he has a copy, but you know. Actually, I'm pretty sure I, I looked into it. And I think the movie is actually literally cursed. I would not be surprised. I mean, it's like you couldn't get... It's almost literally built on top of a graveyard. Yeah, it's like... I don't know what happens to people who watch it, but it's not good. <laughs> they get a phone... The, the, the phone rings and Jerry loses on the end. He's like, seven days! Ah... <laughs> <sighs> Okay, now... R.I.P. Um, Jerry Lewis. 
Oh, okay. It looked like I called this thing. Oh. It's yeah. blue. Dabba dee dabba die. All right. Sand Horror Hiver. Oh my god. The other ones were called Sand Horrors. And yes, the Sand Horror is a very good description. Oh, wait, you can see their names now? Yeah, I've been seeing that for a while, actually. I also used to play bass for Sand Horror. It was a... It was a weird Arabic metal band. Huh. Yeah. Wait, you're not Arabic. No, but I'm, I'm, I'm Greek. I'm close enough. That's true. You could pass as Turkish. Yeah. Probably. No, don't. Which isn't Arabic either, but you know what? Who's going to... Look, we're, we're, we're playing mostly to white metalheads. True, true. <laughs> Just like all those bands in Brazil. In Japan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, they're not white. Well, they're mixed no, race. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you're from Europe, you're gonna pay. You're gonna play to an audience in Japan and Brazil. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's how it goes. Yeah, I I couldn't really tell the audience. I couldn't see past the burka. That's uh. Look, I was never mind. I was going through a weird phase. Okay. They stumble from their tombs like emerging cicadas who find they have no wings. They are hey. strangers in a strange land, but they find one another, and these men of pragmatism accept their cadaverous existence. They are men of talent, now united. Why should they lower their standards of living in this afterlife? Their mouths decay into smiles. They gather their funerary treasures and the forbidden relics of other tombs. Wealthy once more, they hide from the living and form a decadent underworld. So I pissed off this golem, and I, uh, and the guy who stole the who who stole the um the thing yeah. turned the the box, decided to open it, and turned into a filth thing. Well, that's why you don't open strange boxes. Especially not things that look like the fucking Ark of the Covenant. Yeah, exactly. That's... I mean, it's not even like the regular Ark. That's like the, the D-list store brand Ark. I'm the Harbinger. You're the what? I'm the Harbinger. Do you want to be let out? No, Ein is the name of the guy over oh. here. Oh, I thought you said, I thought you were saying I am the Harbinger. So, let's take this back to the council and see what see what they want to do with it. Probably just take it somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure they'll have top men looking at it. Top men. <laughs> Yeah, they actually filmed that in the actual Illuminati archives. Really? No, they used a matte painting, you idiot. Oh. Hey! <laughs> I'm so... But come on, you... Th 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 <laughs> there were a lot of things you'd have to believe in order for that... In order to believe that. Y y true, but, you know... Oh, shit, I got... Oh, right, not to the council, but I gotta live to my person. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Here, take it. These artifacts you've recovered are priceless. We're not talking glass case of the Smithsonian. These are dangerous weapons. Tokyo level dangerous. What? Oh shit. Our rivals will go to great lengths to secure them. From the look at things, the length you're willing to go to are even greater. High five. Phoenicians don't pitch their anchors often, but when they do, it's usually to make a play for this kind of high-end merchandise. Fun fact, one of the artifacts you recovered is identical to the one responsible for the Black Plague. What? Uh, how many of those did you have? I don't have any of You could have, you could have got the apocalypse combo pack. Distress signal. Let's see if I can find the uh, this. I figure this thing out. 
Yeah, that's a thing a good person does. We're good people. And I will eventually give the council the information. I mean, you don't have to go that far. Hmm. <laughs> uh, arrived in Egypt. Everything is fine so far. Oh, you jinxed it. Scratch that. We've run to hostels. I've set up a printer with the council-approved room defenses. Let's see what these bastards get through these. Okay, they got through. <laughs> We're keeping vigil over this particular corner of hell right now. Request a backup from Venice. No answer. Typical bureaucratic procedure. We need help and soon. We've enlisted the help of some local talent and some non-local as well. I sent them to investigate the strange occurrence near the volcanic cracks north of town. Haven't gotten a report back yet, but I have faith. You fool. <sighs> We picked up a strange signal. It seems to be sending on our frequencies, but atmospheric disturbance or something else is partially jamming the signal. Then has suggested we look into ways of amplifying the signal to trace it, but there is no way we can spare the manpower keeping our little encampment safe. According to our data, the signal was routed through a satellite located azimuth 12.4 and elevation 31.7. Remember that. I got it. Got it. Got it right in my head. And on this sheet of paper. It's like the plagues of Egypt. First, the water turns to blood, figuratively, if not quite literally. Then there's hail and thunder, locust swarms, flies and disease, and then darkness. And now, the very fires of heaven rain upon us. It's almost beautiful. But only from up here. There's no beauty to be found down there. Only death and war. This land has been cursed by history and the madness of men. Of course, I don't have the manpower to investigate, let alone do anything about it. All that's left for me is to write another report to the Council, pleading for them to come see for themselves. To witness how the skies and ground have opened up, unleashing the wrath of God upon us all. No. Not the wrath of God. There's nothing biblical about these plagues. This is all in the hands of humans. Let's see, I have to find these satellite dishes that they were using and then maybe I can figure out what the signal was. Yeah, maybe I can, um, I don't know. I... Well, that's a satellite dish. Yes, it is. Or a Death Star. How'd it get over there? Mm. I don't know. Can you climb on those power lines like a squirrel? There was a falling out, shattering the promise of Babel, precipitating a war that would stretch all the way into the now. One brother took to the valleys and plains, founded a secret society that spread to Babylon, Persia, and Rome. They would become the Templars. Okay, so... Oh. Ah! How... You... How did you do that twice? Because I don't pay attention to where I'm going sometimes. Yeah, I mean, all the buildings around here kind of look the same. That's architecturalist. <laughs> Your architecturalist. Okay, let's see. What's the, uh, what's the... It was, um... Shoot. Uh, yes, it was 12.4 and 31.7. Huh? Okay. And that's binary. Yeah. Yeah, that looks 8 yeah. bit. That. Then. I think that might be ASCII. 
Can you translate it? I think so. Yeah, here. Uh, I, have, I have a decoder I keep handy. Let's see here. It says... Oh, that's odd. Huh? It's a... This is weird. It's a code... It's a quote from from the War of the Worlds. Really? Yeah. Read it. Um, I gave a cry of astonishment. I saw and thought nothing of the other four Martian monsters. My attention was riveted upon the nearer incident. Simultaneously, two other shells burst in the air near the body as the hood twisted round in time to receive, but not in time to dodge, the fourth shell. Something to do with the... Aliens! Stuff fly from the sky? I don't know. Nah. Yeah. Aliens don't exist. Well, we don't know that they don't. Okay, well, like, they're the only things... They're the only things that so far I have found do not... I have... I've looked at a lot of things, and so far they're the only one that i found do not exist. Well, have you been to Mars? No. Well, there you go. Have you? No, but I'm saying I'm not going to judge until I go there. Oh. Oh. Oh, wait a second. What? Uh, you're, you're, you are going to lose whatever respect for me you have. Yeah, probably. What happened? I forgot to clear the cache from the last time I used this translator. Oh my god. Yeah, I kind of, I fell for the, for, for the text they keep in the, you know, the, the, that comes with the frame. What did you, what does it say? Really, what does it really say? Let me, uh, let me, let me try this time. For realsies. Um. Okay. It's just a bunch of random, random characters. Huh. I'll, I'll, I'll make a copy of it just in case. Maybe you make sense of it later. Yeah. Is it any recognizable code? No, no, it just appears to be like, you know, punctuation and the occasional letter. Could it be base six? Could it be base sixty-four? Hmm. Uh. Mm, no, base sixty-four doesn't have this much punctuation. I mean, base sixty-four uses a lot of punctuation. This uses like suit like a lot times two punctuation. Yes. What's the next thing again? Oh, 12.4. Huh? And 31.7. Okay. Yeah. And I see that's basically. Yeah, see, four. see, that, this doesn't look anything like that. This is like way more. Uh, that's got way more letters. Yeah, this this is base 64. Yeah. I recognize it from all the creepypastas. Oh, this is the creepypasta code. Yeah, yeah, the one for some reason Slenderman just loves base 64. Slenderman's a fucking dork. <laughs> Actually, that's not in the things that I've investigated yet. Is that real? Well, I mean, I mentioned I live I lived in Wisconsin, right? Mhm. Uh -huh. There were those kids. Right. Yeah. That Well, if it doesn't exist, then it probably does now. Yeah. Thanks, human sacrifice. <laughs> You're welcome, says Odin from American Gods. Okay, where does this go? Oh, there it is. There's another one. Yeah. How'd it get up there? Stairs. What a novel idea. No one would ever think of that. Wait, how did I get out of here? Now, nope. Doesn't have a roof access. Damn. Oh, the stairs were a decoy. I warned you about stairs, bro. Shit. Uh, can you get up on that archway? Ooh, oh, there we go. Maybe? Yeah. There's the... Wait, where, I lost track of it. I think it's on the opposite corner. Oh, fuck. 
Wait, try getting up on top of the building behind you. Huh? There were stairs behind you. Oh. Okay, you know, just, just let me drive. Yeah, yeah, you can hack and you can find these things. Well, yeah, I can find them. I've got... It's a, you know, it's a matter of... Use... It's... Look, look. You can... I can't phys... I can't hack you. Well... You, you did! No, that was different. That was hacking your bee. And there were, like, some very specific circumstances there. But, dude, like, if you have access to the B code, you have access to the source code of the universe. You know, you, Look, you realize you, that, right? Do you want to go messing around with the source code of the universe? No, no, it's 14 point... Uh, 12.4. 31.7. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And now back to our argument. Okay, what code is this? That, uh, no, that's not, that's not hexadecimal. What is that? That's, uh, uh, no, I think that's just played, I think that's just straight up ASCII. Huh. Yeah. But no, I mean, like, fucking around with the source code of the universe can have huge consequences. Like, have you ever read any of the tie-in Myst novels? Why would I do that? Well, they're actually really good fantasy. But it's like, it's all, like, the books there are all about how dangerous writing the Myst books are. And how, like, changing a single letter in, you know, the description of a world can fuck up, you know, physics completely. And this is... Yeah, yeah. And this is a billion times more complicated than that. Okay. 12.7? 4. 31.2. 7? Wait. Oh, yeah, that was 7. Yeah. Okay, now that's hex code. Yeah, that's, that's definitely hex code. Huh. So, what does it all mean? Um... That's... I don't know. That's complicated. Is there a code that you think of? No, what? I mean, I'm trying to run, like, a decryption algorithm. But it's just... Just a bunch of nonsense. Like... Okay, send it to me. Okay. I know, I... Okay, let me try something. I don't do it very often because it ah, it hurts, but <sighs> it um hold on. Ow. 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 Are you okay? Ow. 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 Daddy, speak to me. Ah. Okay, I got it. It's the pits of fire. 44 beasts crave what I carry, but I cling to it in the house of death. Heed my words. What? How? Hi, sassy lady. What? Like, braille? No, no, like... Cat in the hat. I'm, so, I'm sorry, but the Mike Myers movie killed El killed all good memories of that book. I it's just it's like you. Sometimes if I just close my eyes and concentrate on something, I can cut to the deepest meaning of it. So like even if you don't understand the actual words, you know what it's right. saying. Right. Even if it's like an obfuscated technical jargon, I can kind of get the gist of it. Man. 
you know, you went back. You, you if you went like back to back to back to like university now or something, you would kick ass. No, no, no. It gives me a really bad headache. Oh. It feels like my eyebrows are red hot. But it would be so worth it to show up all the all like you know the snotty English professors make you like try to find the secret meaning in Ulysses. Oh, oh, oh no! I would not even touch that. Oh, I would not touch that. That that's beyond my. I I would die. Have you tried it? Yeah. Oh dear. I blacked out. 